Hey, this is Pete Hink. Today I'm going to be talking about how I set up my paddleboard to be trailered behind my bike. This comes extremely useful when I do have to uh, port it a long distance from where my truck is to where I'm putting in. Uh, example would be Headwaters Lake out in Felsmere. It's pretty well covered up high drilling now, so to really to get to the good spots, it's literally about a two and a half mile trip. So this makes it a heck of a lot easier to get to that prime fishing spot. So. Here's a few tips on how I set it up. All right, first I'm going to start with the bike. The bike that you need to uh, portal a uh, paddleboard or kayak should be a not so much a mountain bike, but definitely one that can handle some off-road. Uh, generally, you will be on a gravel road, hard dirt road, when riding these bikes. Sometimes paved, but it's better off to have something that's designed uh, more rugged than, let's say, a regular street bike. Second of all, I went and I got a, an attachment, and it's uh, one of the attachments they find for any standard bike, you know, to put books or something on the back of your bike. This is made by Swen, and uh, it actually, uh, you sit there and it locks in to your seat post. So if I need to take it off, I can actually take the whole thing off. And then I got PVC, and I got PVC pipe, this half inch PVC pipe. I cut it to fit around that, uh, that the Swin book holder or carrier and uh, you zip tie, zip tied it to it to get it as firm as possible and I made sure yes I used good glue to glue the PVC to, together but there's a lot of stress when you're pulling up a, a board or a, or a uh, kayak there's a lot of stress that you put on that PVC so I went ahead and took one of my tie down straps and strapped it to it and tighten it down just to give it extra support so there's no chance of that glue coming undone and uh, the uh, PVC coming apart on the end of the PVC I just took some joints and made a little loop where basically I can take the handle from my paddleboard and I could put it right over the PVC that will hold it in place now the wheels that I'm using is Seattle Sports and they're uh, 12 inch wheels I wouldn't use a regular kayak uh, wheels that you use to I'll say just port at a small distance they need to be at least 12 inches so the Seattle Sport Cart actually has a little kickstand, which is nice because I can sit there and it'll stay upright. I put my paddleboard on there. It's very important to have a good center of gravity when you um, go ahead and you strap it down. Make sure you use two straps when you strap it down. Strap it down really good. You don't want it to come off or come loose as you're trans transporting it. Um, I you like the paddleboard because it's got to be light. I found out I tried to carry two paddleboards at once. It just turned out to be too much weight. So if you're looking to transport a um, a uh, kayak that way, I would not suggest you know a 14 foot pro angler or any of the really large big kayaks would be extremely difficult to transport. I mean they're just heavy. If you're doing a kayak, try to pick a light kayak, something that's very easily easily pulled. So I sit there, like I say, I put two straps on it. I get a good center of gravity where I just have a little bit of tongue weight where the nose of the, uh, the paddleboard is. So if hit a, hit a bump or something, it's not going to sit there and bounce off. And I don't want too much weight on the nose where it actually affects the way that the, uh, the bike rides. Now before you go out there and you go on some trail or you go down a dirt road or wherever you may want to launch it, take your board out and actually go down your street. I go around the block a few times. Make sure everything works well and um, before you get out because it's surprisingly you don't go as fast as you think you would pulling a uh, pulling a paddleboard behind a bike. I may end up going five to ten miles an hour down a dirt road which isn't too bad and it's a lot better than walking. Like I say I'll be covering the distance maybe three and a half miles using the bike and it really does make it a lot easier to get to these spots and it gives you a it gives you a full workout it gives your legs a workout on the bike and then i get my arms a workout when i uh paddleboard so uh it's a cool way to actually get to some spots that normally you wouldn't be able to reach to on your paddle craft so if you're interested give it a try it's a lot of fun it could put you in areas that uh you can just, fishing can be really good so till next time this is Pete Hink. Appreciate you watching my channel. We'll see you.